Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Red Gear Cosmo 7.1 USB gaming headphones. Now these are a pair of 7.1 surround headset which need a special driver to work. Now for that what we'll do is we'll go to the Redwood Interactive homepage. Now Redwood Interactive is the maker of Red Gear products. So first we'll go to their homepage to download the driver. Now the interesting thing is that why I am going online to download this driver is that the one which is supplied with the CD has a lot of bugs and may not detect your device especially if you are a Windows 10 user. Therefore I am going to its homepage and now I can select drivers on the homepage so that I can download their driver. Now telling something about this headset, they are a very cost effective headset and has all the features that a gamer requires at a very affordable price. Now to work properly, we'll need this driver and I'll go for download drivers. Now this will take you to a Google Drive page from where you can download the latest version of the driver and it should be free of bugs. Now I have already downloaded the driver so I'll quickly take you to the steps. I have already done so and here it is the driver now as you can see it has ton of options that you should know how to set it up properly and for that always remember to turn on one in one option that is 3d now turning on 3d will give you the the notes the notes in a song the instruments in a song and all the intervening spectrum that will be amplified to a level that you can hear them clearly and without this option all these uh, details will be muted and therefore many people have complained in the reviews that uh, this headset is not good for music well it's not that it is great for gaming and movies but it is also great for music but it only needs this 3d option turned on now before, after turning on 3D option, we will turn on the equalizer. After turning on equalizer, you must reduce the trees 3600 Hz and 1200 Hz, also the 12000 Hz bars. And why is that? Because if you don't do this, the treble might be too high for some songs and it might hurt your ears. Now, there's no need to typically raise the bar for the bass sliders, but you can safely raise the 300 hertz and the 60 hertz sliders a little bit now you can quickly see the difference if you turn this off and the turn the equalizer on now what we'll do is we'll go to virtual 7.1 and we'll turn on virtual 7.1 now after you have done that we may go for another option that is right click on the on the on the speaker icon go to special sound and turn on windows sonic for headphones windows sonic for headphones will further enhance the sound and give you a feeling of surround sound and sound that's reverberating now it's also important that you set the red gear red gear shortcut in the startup menu and for that we'll go to open file location now when we open file location, we will copy this shortcut. You must make sure that this program starts up at Windows boot up. So I'll copy this shortcut and we'll paste it in the startup folder. Now I have a shortcut but I'll show you the path to the startup folder. Now here's the startup folder. As you can see, I've already pasted it in this very startup folder. Now as you can see this part, it will be your username, then app data, roaming, microsoft, windows, start menu, programs and then startup. And that's how you'll know that these are the programs which are starting up while windows boot up. So it is important for this program to be running for it to be working properly. Now you should hear clear notes, clear mutes, well balanced bass and a treble that doesn't hurt your ears and for that 
you must slide the treble sliders down. <laughs> 